Hey everyone, it's Pegmas here. Um, we're doing a bit something different today. We are going to do a tutorial in SolidWorks. Um, so we're going to just hit all tutorials here. And let's start off with 3D sketching. Um, using SolidWorks, you can create 3D sketches. Use a 3D sketch as a sweep path, as a guide curve for a sweep or loft. So now for a loft, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we are going to make this real thing. So, let's see, using a 3D sketch to create oven frame rack. Click new. And we'll use my templates, which I can show you that at the end of this thing. Do ANSI inch. Oh, no, but this is a metric part. So do our metric. Let that do its thing. Awesome. Click the sketch down here. Okay. Click the line, which is right here, and sketch a 135 millimeter line along the x axis. Okay. Uh, here's the smart dimension tool, which I'm sure a few of you guys have seen. If you've seen any of my uh, SolidWorks videos, and you just type in the dimension desired, 135 millimeters. Okay. Next, click select, start a tool ball, and then the point. Oh, we've already essentially done that just by hitting the double clicking thing. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, I can pretty much disregard that, because nothing went. I shouldn't have. Alright, click the line toolbar again. I'll sketch down the y axis for 15. Okay, and make sure that little yellow thing, I'm going to point my own screen, you can't see it. Okay, and there for 15. Now if I tab, I'll change to y and z. I'll just do it along the y z axis for 240. I'll just double click that. Okay. Let me rotate. V orientation. Isometric. Control. Middle click lets you move it. So, smart dimension tool again. Let's zoom in. Okay, this is 15. 15. And. 40. Cool. And that's done. Hit the F for full. It brings it all out into one area. Okay. And then we'll do the same thing. So, click a line. Go along the X, Y axis. So, fifteen. Fifteen and thirty-five. So we'll just go ahead and dimension that. Thirty-five millimeters. Fifteen millimeters. And fifteen millimeters. Okay. Now these are the same. Alright, next. Dimension each of the lines is shown. Well, I've done that, but this wants me to do the sketch fillet. That button, see how little flashes right up here when I hit that? It's a pretty nice feature of SolidWorks. So, sketch fillet, it says, and each intersection with a 5mm fillet. So we go down here, we can either do it manually or not, because it does it in tens. Highlight it, 5mm. Okay, zoom in. One, two, three, zoom out, one, two, three, okay, do sketch toolbar to close the sketch, alright, well, that is part one, and it closes the part, uh, we'll go ahead and just save it as rack dot Save as desktop, let's call it R A C K. 
S-L-D-E-R-T. And it's right here also. That's the part type. All right, save. And use the sweep code complete feature. Okay, so here we go. Select the right plane. This is right plane. And open up a 2D sketch on that plane. Cool. A five millimeter diameter at the or a five millimeter diameter circle at the origin. So just hit this so we're in the right view. And draw a circle. And here's the origin. So sport dimension. The circle with a slash through it stands for diameter. Okay. Click I can sketch. And features. And we go to swap boss space, which is right here. Okay. This is what the profile is. And we want that circle. And where do I want our path? Our path is this big old thing we've been drawing. And we'll click that. And we get this preview of what it should look like. So, there we go. We have the first part of this. And check. Okay, we've done that. Let me just click something real quick. Do, do, do. I should have made it go away. Ah, there we go. Okay, extruding the supports. Select the front plane, which is here. Or I could just uh, go here, oops, sorry, and front, top, bottom, left, right, back, we want front. Cool. Click extrude boss base, which is right there, in the features toolbar. Okay. Click normal 2 in the view standard toolbar. And click that twice, since now we're in the front. Uh, sketch a circle on what appears to be the f face of the frame, the front. Right. So we're going to draw a circle right in here. Let's not let me do that. Let's try it one more time. These features. Straight boss base. Okay. Speed a butt. The front plane, that's fine here. Sketch a circle. Four millimeter diameter. And we want it 11 inches from this edge. So we'll click the point and the origin. And we'll type in 11. And we'll check. We'll be feature extrude boss space facing this way, so we hit over here, which reverses the direction, we'll zoom out a bit, and it says to, let's see, if necessary, reverse the direction, which it was, and we did, select up on the surface, or up to surface in the end condition, this is the end condition right here, right now it says blind, so we're going to change it to up to surface, then we got to click the surface, which is and you see this nice yellow line, that's the preview. And we will have merge result. Okay. Uh, and hit check to complete the support. Cool. Next step, patterning the extrusion. Click view, temporary axis, view, and temporary axis. Now we've got these nice blue lines, which essentially are the, cer the center area of a cylinder. Okay, select the boss, okay, in the feature manager side and click the linear pattern, so we go to here, which is, if you can't find it, once again, just hit that here, very nice, we've already got what we wanted there, okay, in the graphic area, preview the pattern appears, okay, we already have that, on direction one, we want the spacing to be 22 millimeters. Okay. 
Six seconds. Okay. Oh, I think I have to go on. No, let's delete that and try this one here. There we go. We want six of the things, so we already have six, but we want the distance to be 22. That's 20. Type in 22. Okay. And click check. The extrusion pattern is completed. And the next step, mirroring all. Click view temporary axis and hide the temporary axis. That's up to us. We'll go ahead and do that because it's what the tutorial says. And the face one, alright, rotate the half rack and click on the end face of the frame, which is one or this one here, so we'll just go ahead and click that. Click mirror and the feature command here is toolbar. Okay, oh, where is it right now? In your pattern, mirror. Okay, faces to mirror. Well, we click that, I'll let it unclicked it, so that's fine. Features to mirror. Alright, you hit the plus sign right up here. We want the linear pattern and the bottom extrude, and the sweep. Okay, then do a full preview, and we'll hit check, and, well, that looks pretty close to it. Click isometric in the standard views. Alright, and save the part. Control, S. And there you go, folks. That was one part. The tutorial uh, when I first tried it in class, um, was a lot longer than this, so, um, if you have any questions on how some SOLIDWORKS stuff goes, go ahead and just add it to the comment box, um, probably going to create a secondary channel for specific SOLIDWORKS tutorials and, you know, make myself a portfolio, because that always looks nice, and we'll, uh, see you guys next time.